So a lot of times birds, female birds that get hormonal, vitamin A deficiency and various other nutritional environmental factors, especially they don't have proper perches to ground their beak, we do get what's called brown sear hypertrophy or sear hypertrophy. You get this thick accumulation of material on the beak. This budget's just come in, it's been an all sea diet on a dowel perch. And uh, it's not necessarily problematic. But and, and, and we do we do get a similar type of condition when they get mites. But with mites, you actually you can actually see a very typical little honeycomb appearance, which we're not seeing here. So I'm going to gently try and remove some of this um, sea hypertrophy. Hypertrophy just means thickened epithelial layer. So this is just a bit of liquid paraffin, a little bit of liquid paraffin on the beak. I don't put it in. It just kind of lubes and. How often should people do that, Phil? Hopefully, you generally don't need to do it. Most people won't be won't need to do it ever. So all I'm doing is now we're just going to take a little bit of a break while it's while it kind of sets in. Give it about a, a minute or two to kind of move the pack and sit. So this is a remember I said vitamin A can play a role. Mm -hmm. Vitamin A D E C. This is a 30 gauge needle. One of the smallest needles you can get. Can you even see the needle? Really small. This is a Dremel, a very gentle Dremel. And I'm going to get a... Um, I might just use a... Something to help me scratch it off. So we're going to see if this... Oh, it actually... So you can actually see it actually came off beautifully. So I'll put some more. That's what's come off on the one side. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you can see what it is. I'll leave it there. So it's not. So this you got to be careful because if it's hormonal, it can actually bleed. You know, it can be quite vascular. So I'm lubricating a little bit more. Cleaning it off so it can breathe better, is that right? Yes, it's see the little nostrils, we can flush them out, but you can actually see it's like, even though it's thickened there, it's still quite vascular, so we don't want to go too deep. And I'll rather get it to come back at a later stage and we'll take a little bit more off. Huh. But that's probably where we're going to leave it for today. A little more liquid paraffin and I'll do a little bit more later. Zoom in, So we, 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 we're going to give this little bird a vitamin A injection. So, um, Is that to make up for the nutritional deficiencies? Yes. So we go we, we, we're in the middle of the, the, um, step, in the, middle of the keel bone. You mentioned it's on dowel perches. Is that hurting the feet? The dowel perches are hurting the feet. So let's try and show you. Um, you can kind of see they lose their... They have little footprints on their feet. It's a loss of the plantar footprint. You can actually see it's a little bit red and inflamed. And let's see, and this one's got a pododermatitis or an abscess. So by changing the purchase, um, we should get an improvement in that. So I might even give, I might even put a little bit of, um, so you can kind of see the, just see a hypertrophy. It's not problematic. This little bird's now going to get a good diet. The diet's going to be seed, pellets, three vegetables, some fruit, and some healthy human food. It's going to be allowed to purchase it around and then we'll review it in a, we'll review it in a short period.